the biggest war to African unity right now is no longer the colonizers or even white privilege. There is a party in South Africa by the name of Patriotic Alliance, the PA, a black party disguised with the colored skin that has waged war against Zimbabweans. This party has got a problem with Zimbabwean people in South Africa. It is no longer about uh, foreigners that have came in South Africa with uh, the proper documents or without the proper documents. They have chosen to wage war against Zimbabweans, specifically Zimbabweans. The Patriotic Alliance have now become the biggest clowns in South African politics. Here is why I'm saying this. Watch this. Thank you so much for your time. So uh, talk to us about this particular visit. Why is a PA visiting the school and, and what have you been able to establish? Well, a very good day to you, Nat. Indeed, coming to you right here from Sourceville in uh, Pretoria at Sitini -Sit uh, Primary School, where the PA uh, members, uh, together with its deputy president, uh, have gathered here. Uh, from arrival here, what we gathered is that the party uh, is uh, concerned about the number of uh, learners that are here, saying that uh, they heard from uh, community members around here that you know there were a lot of foreign national children uh, who, who attend this school and. They said that it's a public school. They said that, you know, one of the reasons why they came here is to ensure that, you know, the numbers are correct. But with me, I'm with the Deputy President of uh, uh, the Patriotic Alliance, Mr. Kenny Kunene. Thank you so much for your time. You guys have come here. Uh, just take us through the reason why you're here. Uh, we heard from uh, our leadership here in uh, Tswani that there were concerns from some of the community members. But we also saw on uh, social media uh, this matter being posted. One, uh, the allegation was that 60% uh, of the learners are Zimbabwean. Number two, that the SGP, the chair of the SGP is a Zimbabwean. Number three, that the school has applied to the Department of Education uh, to teach Shona here. Now, and on the first one, we, we met with the principal and some of the office colleagues. The principal, Mr. Ngabinde, said that uh, the percentages are wrong. Only 20% are Zimbabwean. We will come and investigate further. Number two, uh, he has confirmed that indeed the chair of the SGP is a Zimbabwean. Number three, uh, he says he has not applied to um, <clears throat> the Department of Education for sure not to be taught here. But our information is that the chair of the SGP who is the Zimbabwean is the one orchestrating uh, this thing with the department to teach Shona here. This is a public school. Uh, Shona is not in our curriculum. So we understand that the Department of Education is entertaining this nonsense. So we are here to demonstrate our anger and dissatisfaction at what they are trying to do to our communities. Uh, there's a young girl here who says she's not getting school to, to do great time. Equally, there are parents with young children who cannot be admitted to our schools because foreign nationals, uh, children have been accepted in the schools. So we are saying that even that 20%, we need to go door to door. Our members need to do door to door here so that they can establish if there's any parent whose child has been rejected from the school. So that we can take that child, bring the child here. The principal must take out the Zimbabwean and Peter South Africa. Uh, we are appealing to the SGP uh, that the SGP, the parents who have voted for the Zimbabwe, must not outsource their intelligence their skills and their capacity to a Zimbabwe. South Africans are capable of being chairpersons of SGPs. So we are appealing to the SGP uh, to, to withdraw or to hold fresh elections and get rid of this Zimbabwe uh, who is said to be a bully, who is said to bully parents and teachers alike. I am the premier candidate of the Patriotic Alliance in Gaudet. And therefore, 
each and every area where there are issues of concern, I have to attend to them. In fact, uh, I am the incoming Premier of Kauteng, and once I am voted in as the Premier of Kauteng by the people of Kauteng, this nonsense is not going to happen in this province. I, I hear you, but from your intel that you, now you said that you have engaged the principal, and you said that uh, contrary to what you were told, only 20% of students, then 80. It must be worrisome that you guys gathered here. I mean, one can imagine how children are feeling inside. Uh, <coughs> We, we, we do not want to write letters. Uh, we, we, we are a service delivery orientated political party. Yes. That is not influenced by the foreign theories of communism, socialism, capitalism, and so on. We are influenced by the material conditions of our people on the ground. And therefore, we said we will come here so that we demonstrate properly. And we send a message to all the schools that are accepting illegal immigrants' children that we are going to take them out of those schools. Uh, there is no disturbance to, to the children here. There is a peaceful uh, arrangement that we have. The principal has accepted, has a, uh, appreciated that we are not disturbing the schools running. We are outside of the school gates. Only myself and the provincial secretary and our councillor here and head of the elections for the premier in Gauteng went in. So we, we, we are a very disciplined party. Uh, the principal confirmed what we have been told. The difference is the numbers. Zimbabwean children are here. He confirmed that. So there is no lies that we're told. We will investigate what he's telling us. We are not taking it at face value. We are going to put our people here tomorrow morning in private clothing yeah. to start checking how many children are coming here and how many are Zimbabwean. Number two, what we were told is that the chairperson of the SGP is a Zimbabwe. The principal has confirmed that the chairperson of the SGP is a Zimbabwe. We do not agree that a foreign national can be the chair of the SGP of a public school in South Africa. Number three, we are demanding that the Department of Education must amend this clause that is silent on defining a parent. It must be clear that a parent must be a South African national, not a naturalized parent, not a South African citizen, must be part of the election process in the SGP. Because they are silent, because the ruling party allows the influx of illegal foreigners here, whether Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Ethiopian, Zimbabwean, Mozambican, Lesotho, they allow it. So we, we, we are saying, we demand the amendment so that the definition says you are eligible to stand as the member of the SGP and the chairperson if you are a South African citizen. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's just embarrassing for us as a country to have a Zimbabwean being the chairperson of, of an SGP in South Africa in a public school. Let, let me just put a scenario uh, to you. Let's say uh, one of the children here, um, the mothers are foreign nationals and they have ra uh, relevant documentations and they were born in South Africa. The parents are working here. Then what in that scenario? Uh, that is a different issue. We are talking about illegal immigrants. Uh, we don't have a problem with foreign nationals. We have got proper documents. We have made that very clear. But we are still saying South Africans must be prioritized. Uh, you cannot have, just because your mother is from Zimbabwe, she is now naturalized to be a South African. Your child must then take precedent over the children of South Africa. No. South, when there's a space after South Africans have been, have been accepted, they can then say, no, we still have two, two spaces. Okay, go get two uh, foreign national children. Otherwise, let them take them to their countries. Well, thank you so much. Peace in Pan-Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Says So. I'm your host, Kahiso Shongwane, Zinjiva, King053, Mr. Easy Imali, Enengi Nengi. And we're back at it again with another one. And oh my God, was I not disturbed with this clip. Oh my God, was I not moved with the level of hate that the patriotic alliance have got towards Zimbabwe. First of all, number one, there has been claims, and uh, it's, uh, you can see it's a colored community, that have 
said there's a school, a public school in South Africa has got a 60% of Zimbabwean learners, which is not true. I don't see a scenario where that can be true. Not even even close to the Zimbabwean border can you have that amount of Zimbabwean people in one school in South Africa. It's not phys- uh, It's not possible. So instead of going to the Department of Education and finding out if that is indeed the case, they go and protest at the school. They have a problem that the SG leader is a Zimbabwean parent. You know, the SG is the parents uh, of the learners that are going to the school. They choose each other to form a governing body, uh, a parent's governing body that will help uh, run the affairs of the school with the with the school structures, the, the parents. So now they have a problem that that person is Zimbabwean. And they are not afraid to tell you that it cannot be that a Zimbabwean must lead these people. Huh? Because Zimbabweans are not Africans. They must go back to their country. They then go to the principal only to find out that indeed it's not 60%. It's 20%. The principal says no, about 20% of the school is um, is um, what you call um, uh, Zimbabwean or foreigners. I'm not sure if it's only Zimbabweans. They say the next day they're going to come without wearing the, the, the political colors. And they're going to stand at the gate and count how many Zimbabweans are going to go in the, that school. How are you going to know by just looking at a child that they are Zimbabwean? Are you going to stop every child and ask them if they are South African? Are you going to disturb the, the education of that child by traumatizing a small child and stopping them and asking them, are you Zimbabwean? What is your name? Why is the PA like this? Why have we come to this point as Africans that we hate? We hate our fellow African brothers like this. They went to the Zimbabwean border and they went there to go and intimidate Zimbabwean people. They even crossed to the Zimbabwean border without documents, this PA party. And now they are going to schools, checking if um, schools are, are admitting uh, foreign people. Their first problem, they were saying, listen, um, we don't want illegal immigrants in, in, in our country, illegal foreigners, people who come here without papers. But children who are admitted in schools obviously have got papers. So no, it's no longer about papers now. It's about um, South Africans must be accepted first. If there is space, then only two Zimbabweans must be put in. Imagine the, the, the level of self-hate we have as, as, um, as, as Africans to one another. Huh? And this is why I say I will never stop fighting for Africans in general. Not South Africans, black Africans. I will never, I will never stop fighting for these people because they are hated by everyone. Hated by the Portuguese, hated by the French, hated by the Dutch, hated by the uh, British, hated by the Americans, and now they are hated by their own. Just imagine you are a Zimbabwean parent, you come to South Africa legally, you are working in South Africa legally, your children are born here legally, or your children are uh, in South Africa legally, and your children are going to school. And then you hear that a political party went to go intimidate your child. The child has got no control of where they are, they are going to go to school. Their parents dictate that to them. But we find a situation where Kenny uh, Kunene, an embarrassment of a black man, an embarrassment of a sellout. One day these clips will be played back for him. He's got children, Kenny Kunene. I hope his children don't leave South Africa and get treated the way he's treating other Zimbabwean children. Zimbabweans, for those who don't know, is one of the kindest people that you have ever met. They are an easy target, and that is why um, most South Africans play on Zimbabwean heads. 
you, they will never do this to the Sudan uh, people. They will never do this to Mozambican people. They do it to uh, Zimbabweans because they're an easy target. They're an easy target, Zimbabweans. Soft, kind-hearted people the Zimbabweans are. Breaks my heart to say this, that of all the economical problems that we have, this is the issue that we can um, raise. And that is why we are building the Pan-African School of Economics, Technology and Agriculture. We have to build it, my fellow Pan-Africanists, because no one will include Africans without discriminating on them besides us Pan-Africanists. At the Pan-African School, we will have African children in that school. We will have African children in that school because we want to spread the love and the message of unity to as many countries as possible. We will not have just Zimbabweans. Just we, go, we want Nigerians, we want, we want uh, Angolans, we want uh, Mozambicans, we want every child from, from around South Africa who is able to come to the school must come. You understand what I'm saying? The, the level of hate that the PA, and you find people that are uh, screaming in the back and huckling and, and supporting this type of hate towards the black child. The government is obviously not going to do anything about it. Nothing. And other political parties are leaving the EFF to bully our African, our fellow African brothers and sisters. They, they said they wanted them to come here legally, but when they are here legally, they must suffer first before going to any school. They must suffer according to the PA. My goodness. And I've, I've, I've said in the past that I'm happy that the PA is standing up for the rights of, of colored people and all of that. But don't trample on the rights of other people. You understand? Stand on the rights and support your people. Do what you are doing as the PA. But once the PA started uh, forming this campaign of, of um, hating on our fellow African brothers, they lost me. They lost me completely. I, I was loving the story of Gaten McKenzie, how he came up to be a politician, um, starting from being a criminal, stealing money, robbing people and all of that, and changing his life, becoming a politician and a businessman. It was a good story to tell. But it looks like these people, they are not genuine. Kenny Kunene also, not, not genuine. Not genuine as Africans. They, they are just um, uh, counter revolutionaries, these people. As Africans, we are trying to build relations with our fellow African brothers and sisters, of which we know the economical situation in Zimbabwe. But now, um, I'm so heartbroken, man. I feel sorry. Uh, uh, tomorrow we're going to be seeing scenes of people stopping children and asking them their names. Just imagine black. To black violence. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Until we meet next time, guys. If it's your first time here, please consider to subscribe. Thank you so much for all the people that have uh, clicked the subscribe button, the supporting the channel, leaving the thoughts on the comment section, and everyone that have sent emails. Some of you threatening me. It's okay. Um, do what you need to do. But we are not changing our ideology as Pan Africanists because you are in, you are intimidated or you feel wronged by it uh, because we don't agree with your party. It's not gonna happen. Do what you need to do. Um, let's meet in the streets. It's fine. You understand? We're not going to be silent by anyone threatening our lives. It's not going to happen. It's not the first time. It's probably not going to be the last time. Also, so continue doing what you're doing. That makes you sleep at night. It's okay. Uh, until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. And after you pray, stand up, African child. Do your best so that God can do the rest. Peace in pain, Africanism. I salute you.